Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel, where today we've got another vintage tech review of a really interesting gadget. I picked this up from U of M Reuse, that's the University of Minnesota's surplus warehouse, where they sell off all the old obsolete junk that they no longer need. And this thing comes in a neat little case, and it has a pretty intimidating price tag on it of $1,000. Spoiler alert, I did not pay $1,000 for this thing. The U of M always puts kind of aspirational prices on interesting objects, and then never gets that much money for it. Uh, this sat around in their warehouse for a while, and then it ended up going to an auction, where I was the only bidder, and I got it for a whopping $5, or something a little over $6 with taxes and fees. And this particular thing is not worth $1,000, because these show up on eBay all the time between $10 and $30. It comes in this very 1970s plastic uh, briefcase thing. And that looks pretty cool on the inside. We've got this uh, hardcore mounting bracket. We've got this uh, lightsaber unit, all kinds of cords, a power supply. So this thing is an Edna Light Model 120A projection pointer made in New York by the Edna Light Corporation Vision Systems Division. And that absolutely sounds like some kind of laser death ray or lightsaber. And in fact, this has been called the world's first laser pointer or proto laser pointer, although it's not actually a laser at all. So this is actually much closer to a wall-powered flashlight. There is a high-power light bulb in here. We've got a push button to activate, and we've got some uh, heat dissipating systems here. And then we have a lens on the front, and this projects or focuses your light beam out onto a presentation board, a blackboard, or a chart, or a map, something of that nature. Basically, just like a laser pointer. A professor would use this to point at things on uh, a presentation board on a slide, or if you're giving a presentation to a business or uh, a government agency, yeah, you would use this just like a laser pointer. And actual laser pointers didn't start showing up until a decade or two later, and they were pretty expensive. So I imagine this thing probably stuck around at least into the 80s and possibly into the 90s, although by then you could get a little red laser pointer for just a few dollars. So these eventually became obsolete. Now I am going to fire it up and see if it still works, but I think I will open it up first, just take a look in there, make sure the bulb isn't broken, make sure there aren't any obviously broken wires. So the front end has a lens, which will kind of screw in and out for focusing, although the mechanism is really rough. This probably hasn't been used for a long time. And it looks like we can actually unscrew the very end of it, and we could um, we could take out that lens for cleaning. I, I may still do that at some... Um, it's a little bit dirty, it's not the worst, but there is some dust in there. And there's kind of an inner retaining ring here too. Alright, so there's our front lens. Fairly dirty. And then the back end here also unscrews. And I'm noticing there are some markings on it. It says MN02724. Um, yeah, it's some kind of serial number, I think, or uh, maybe a part number for the university, uh, not sure exactly, but this was probably a pretty expensive item back in the 1970s, so they didn't want a student to just walk off with it and take it to the pawn shop. Alright, so there is our light bulb, and uh, there's not much to this. There's basically the lens assembly, the heat uh, dissipation assembly, and uh, this is just a light bulb with a push button, so that's... Uh, that's really all there is to the back part here. The bulb looks intact, that's nice. Now if we look down this, I don't know if you can quite see from the camera, um, it's not really an open lens, but you might be able to make out a little tiny arrow in there. So yeah, this isn't just a dot of um, light that it's putting out, it's actually putting out a tiny little arrow. So let's see if it works. I've got it plugged in, I don't see any power switches or fuses or anything else on here, so um, yeah, I'm gonna assume the only control is just this push button. I've got the blinds closed in here. We might have to turn the lights off. I'm not sure how bright this will actually be, but let's see if it'll project onto the wall here. Yeah, it's projecting. It's a little... There we go. We can focus it down to that tiny little arrow. All right, we'll try it without the room lights. And, uh, yeah, not actually that much different. I mean, you can see it perfectly well with the lights on. All right, class, if you'll direct your attention to the map, you'll learn that most of the government's crashed UFOs are kept somewhere around here. All right, now the most important question that I'm sure everyone is asking is, 
How does this compare to an actual laser pointer for cats? Is it as good of a cat toy as the $5 laser pointer? Let's find out. We've got Donnie in the room. Donnie, you want to get it? Go get it. What is that? Donnie's response is uh, not super excited. Let's see what he thinks about an actual laser. Donnie, you going to get it? Do you want that? Do you want it? You don't really care about that either. You're just in nap mode. Fluff is slightly more interested in the actual laser. You gonna get it? You're not quite as excited. Oh, okay. You'll get it. She'll get it a little bit. She's not quite as frantic about it as the actual laser though. And then of course it is much less convenient of a cat toy because you have to find a power outlet, drag the cable around, drag the transformer around, and yeah, they uh, do not care quite as much about this thing as they do the little red dot. And I can see why this has the uh, radiator system on it, because after just a few seconds of intermittent use, I, I haven't even run this continually for a minute yet, it is pretty warm. I can still touch it, but I can definitely see this thing getting hot after long periods of use, after a long lecture of pointing at a bunch of stuff. And I have to admit, I really like the combination transformer carrying case here, especially the way this thing just kind of locks into position, like, like some kind of military device, like it's some kind of sci-fi laser blaster. And my $5 investment actually got me two of these, although the second one is just the hand unit. It is missing the cords, it's missing the power supply, it's missing the case. It's basically just the lightsaber. Um, still kind of cool, and it's nice to have spare parts for this, although I honestly don't think I would use this enough to need spare parts. I don't really need a whole second one, but I do have some ideas for what to use this second one for. Um, we might get to that in a future video. So there we go. It's a fun little oddity of the 1970s and maybe even inspired certain 1970s sci-fi devices. Who knows? I think it's kind of a cool device. I think it's kind of fun, completely impractical. I'll never use it for anything. If I ever need to actually point anything out, I'm going to use the $5 laser here and this works much better for annoying cats as well. So these things are definitely just an oddity. They're a novelty. They're, they're a collector's piece. They're not really a useful tool anymore. Maybe I'll put them in my display case or up on top or something. But um, as I said, this one, yeah, this one might get modified into something maybe a little cooler and maybe a little more lasery, but we'll see what happens with that. I hope this has been an interesting little video on obscure 1970s presentation technology. Check out some of my other videos for other weird stuff I found at surplus stores like Axeman Surplus or at U of M Surplus or estate sales or dumpsters. I find all kinds of weird junk like this, and I love looking at old relics of the past like this. They're just kind of fun. If you like this video, stay tuned to see what we come up with next and what we end up turning this into. Thank you to everyone for watching, and we'll see you next time.